Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Tulor 80 watt soldering iron kit. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So this comes with a number of components. So this is a solder sucker. So you press this down, it locks. And then when you press this button, it sucks up here. So this is a desoldering tool. And here we have the soldering gun. Let me get it out of the package. So this has a unique feature on it. It has a feeding mechanism. So let's take a look at the back here. Here are the specs. It says power consumption is 80 watts. Temperature range is 180 to 520 C. So you can pause and read through the rest of this here. Of course, you want to be safe when using soldering iron. They're very hot. It says adjustable LED display. Here's the correct direction for the spool. So let me get this installed. So it looks like it goes on like this. It looks like this is going to slide on here in this little slit. Okay, that was a tight fit. I pushed that on and off camera. I actually just put a little screwdriver in here and tapped on it and went back and forth until it was seated all the way. And here we have the solder. So I will open this up. So I'll put this in the middle. So before I get too far, I'll feed the solder in here. Okay, so I squeezed the trigger and it gripped it. Put the bolt in. And there's a nut that goes on the back side. So it looks like you can tighten that completely because the spool will turn on the middle section. So now when I pull the trigger, we can see it's pulling on that. So that feeds the solder here and feeds it to the tip. Now the tips are interchangeable. Looks like that's loose, I'll tighten that up. These are the other tips it comes with. It looks like these are all the same size here. So if you wear one out, you can replace it. And this also came with some tweezers. So here you have precision tweezers here and there. So I'll get this plugged in and we'll test it out. So the cord on this is around 54 inches or four and a half feet. It's a little over that maybe. So I'll get my solder mat out here and we'll look at the display. Looks like there's some plastic over this. I'll peel that off. So to turn it on and off, you'll press this button once and then you can press up or down. And this is in degrees Celsius. So let's feed some solder to the tip and see what that does. Okay, so you can see it's melting. Let me get my fume extractor over here. So here you can see how this feeds this to the tip. So let me get something to demonstrate this on. Okay, so I have a circuit board here. I'm going to try and remove this solder. So in order to remove it, I want to add a little bit of solder. So I'll advance the solder on the soldering iron. I'm going to adjust this so it's in my fume extractor a little better. Okay, so I think I have that mostly molten there. Okay. So if I press this down, I don't know if you saw that on camera, but some solder came out of there, and there's a little bit more on the other side, but I think I can get that out now. There we go. So the component came out. So this is really nice for using with a solder sucker. So I could have one hand on the soldering iron and the other on the solder sucker, and I could add a little bit of solder there to give it a little bit more mass. So here's another capacitor. Let's try this. I'm sorry I'm not framed perfect on this. I think that's mostly there, and now the component's loose. So that's the Tulor 80 watt soldering iron gun and solder vacuum. This is an interesting concept for a soldering iron. I've never used one like this before. I think it could be very useful in certain cases, like I was just showing. The action on the trigger was very smooth and predictable. It's similar to using a hot glue gun. The solder came out right at the bottom of the tip there. Now I found out it didn't always travel right to the tip, so I just kind of moved the soldering iron in position until the blob was where I wanted it, and then I would lay it down. So I think with some practice, this will become kind of second nature to use. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.